ओम ईश्वरो गुरुरत्मेति ओम ईश्वरो गुरुरत्मेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम दक्षिणा सदा शिव सरंभा सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा वंदे गुरु परंपरा ओम सहना तेजस्वीनावदीतमस्तु मावित ओम शांति 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 ओम शांति शांति ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायण स्वयं ओम नारायण स्वयं व्यासेन व्यासेंग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारतम अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणे भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायी अंबत्वामुसंदी भगवदगीते ुद्रमरुतस्तुन्वी दिव्य स्तव वेद सांगपद ध्यानावस्थित तद्गते न मनसा पश्य यस्यान्तन्न विदुसुरा सुरगणा 
Devaya yes. tasmai namaha. Yasyantam navidu sudha sudha dana. Devaya tasmai namaha.
ಷಣ್ಮಾಸಕ್ಷಿಣಾಯನಂ ಚಂದ್ರಮಸಂಜ್ಯೋತಿಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯೋಗಿಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ in previous verses maybe in 19 19 verse or 20th verse bhagwan was talking about the all people means bhut grama let me say bhut grama sa evayam so in in 19th verse bhagwan says generally all people bhuta grama means all all type of beings even movable immovable mostly all people ahaha agame they bhutva bhutva they are coming into being and being and again ratri agame helplessly they again resolved so this process from unmanifest to manifest and manifest to unmanifest is keep on going and again in this verse means in 19th verse bhagwan has clarified same group of jivas the jiva are anadi they are not born they are jiva keep on coming and coming so how can they release from this cycle of being so in 20th bhagwan has said there are another avyakta which is avyaktat avyakta which is distinct from what we have mentioned from that unmanifest there is a one more unmanifest and it is called sanatana so it is eternal it is paraha it is a great and anyaha means it is different from this previous avyakta unmanifest and here the meaning of bhavah we have said bhagwan said is a parabrahman consciousness and when sarveshu bhuteshu nashyasu sati when all beings are destroyed but that avyakta na vinashyati it never destroys and what is the name of that avyakta So in this verse bhagwan says avyakta akshara which is never decline which is we have seen in third verse of the uh, eighth chapter aksharam parabrahma ahu same bhagwan says that avyakta is nothing but that akshara tatva and having known this akshara tatva yam prapya this aksharam prapya people jivaha na nivartante they never come back and that is my ultimate abode paramam in the meaning of abode 
Shankara says is told, it is a Vishnu Dhamma, and the meaning of Vishnu means Vyapakat Vishnu, which is all pervading. That Vishnu, that person has achieved, that person knows or attain whatever, and this is the ultimate end. This is no better end than this. And how can we get that Purushaha? How can we get that Aksharaha, which is Avyakta? So in 22nd verse, Bhagavan says that Akshara Purushaha can be gained Bhaktiya Labhyaha. Saparaha Purushaha Bhaktiya Labhyaha. That Purushaha means Aksharaha Avyakta. Here Bhagavan says Purushaha means we have seen both meaning of Purushaha. Puranatvat Purusha, which has filled whole Brahman with consciousness, also called Purusha. And other meaning is Pure Shaya Shayate, one who resides in this body, is also called Purusha. That Ishvara or Purusha can be gained by devotion. And which type of devotion? Bhagavan says Ananyaya. Na Anya, which never consider oneself is a different from Ishvara. That bhakti, that devotion, ultimate bhakti, grani to atmeva mata, that devotion through which we can labhya, we can gain, we can achieve that Ishvara. And Bhagavan again says, this Purushaha, antahasthani, bhutani, all beings are inside that Ishvara. The meaning of antahasthani or inside, the meaning is the pot cannot be distinct, cannot be away from clay because karyam possible because of karana. Same way, all beings cannot be separated from karana, upadan karana, and which is purushaha. That's why we can say all beings are inside this Ishvara. And by this Ishvara or Purushaha, Sarvam idam tatam. Tatam means vyaptam. Idam sarvam jagat. Whole jagat is pervaded by this Purushaha, that Ishvara. If one can recognize this Purushaha, then there is a no. Again, come back to this word. But if we don't know this Purushaha, then we keep, keep on coming. So after Saying this, Bhagwan has picked up one topic which have seen yesterday, and this is after death, where Jiva goes. So yesterday I have talked about little in detail. I have talked about there are two types of Gati after death, one a group of people who performs only karma, they people will go to different type of loka. But these people has to, it's called avrutim, they will come back. And where they will come back, sansare punaragamana, they will come back to this world. And there are other group of people, they are doing their own duty also, plus upasana. These people can go up to Brahma Loka, and after Brahma Loka, they will get mukti. They will be liberated because their Brahmaji will teach the real nature of one about us. It is called Krama Mukti, and this is Anavruti. Avruti means repetition. Anavruti means there is a no repetition. Repetition means sansare punaragaman. But these people never come back to this world. And after death, both people may travel. So if these people will travel, one who are doing both karma and upasana means meditation, these people will go by this Shukla Marga, <clears throat> it's called white or bright path. 
margaham is path and here this mark are indicated by kalam so here the meaning of kala is equal to root sometimes we say in which root you are traveling so we can say by this root i am traveling same way this upasaka and karma karmatha by which root they are going so we can say it's go by bright path shukla means bright margaha means path and a people one who are doing all rituals only rituals karma they will go after death by krishna marga we can say krishna means black is a shadow marga means root and here also marga is called kala so in four verses now we are seeing in this four verses bhagwan is explaining how upasaka and karma karmata never come back and how other people who are doing only karma they will come back to this earth we have seen this paragraph also prakruta naam yogina here the meaning of yogi means who are doing upasana and which are under discussed and we have seen how they live their body we have seen everything so in this they are pranava aveshita brahma buddhi na their mind is endowed with pranava omkara and then my in which they invoke brahman means hiranya garbha so kal these people are kalantara mukti vaja they will get mukti after time kalantara after long time kalantara mukti vaja they will definitely will get mukti and if we get mukti then it is called brahma pratipattai to get this brahman uttaraha margaha vaktavya so one again i would tell to forget you let me say i have not written but we can say there are two paths let me write here one minute so one is called shukla means bright path another is called krishna marga is a smoky marga let me write marga in here krishna marga karma plus upasaka will go by shukla marga while only karma tha but who are given to only that agnihotri karma like such people karma tha the shukla marga others name other name is also called uttara marga is the northern northern side uttara here it is called dakshina marga these people anavrutti they never came back to this world anavrutti and these people will come punarapi jananam punarapi maranam avrutti and here bhagwan will say there are many devtas or we can say even messenger in english we can say devtas are waiting to receive this karma upasaka yogi even this karma tha yogi also many devtas are waiting to guide them by which route you have to reach to your destination maybe brahma loka or any pitru loka any so all description is given here so shukla marga and here they have mentioned marga is not marga but kala 
So here, actually, the meaning of Kala is uh, time, but here the meaning of Kala is Marga. That's why Shankaracharya has said here, Uttaraha Margaha Vaktavyaha. So this all Upasaka will go through Uttara Marga. And this Margaha is called Yatrakale because this 23rd verse start with Yatrakale. So this Marga here is called as a Kala. Ityadi Vivakshita Artha Samarpana Artham Uchete. So all, so a people who are keep on doing Upasana, what will happen to them? To explain this, these four verses are being explained. And even Bhagwan will tell Avrutti Marga, means only Karmata will come back. This also Bhagwan has discussed why took Itara Marga Stuti Artham. So one can understand how much Upasana is important. Itara Marga means Shukla Marga. To praise Shukla Marga, Bhagwan has also discussed Avruti Marga. So having this base, now we are enter in this. Here Bhagwan, Bhagwan says Prayataha Yanti. Prayantaha means a, a soul or jivatma. After death, prayata means after death, yanti goes. Tam kalam vakshyami. Tam kalam, yes, kalam means marga. That marga, I will tell you. Yatra kale, again the meaning is by which marga, in which path or root. And there are two types of root, Bhagwan says. Here, first one is anavrutti. Anavrutti means there is a no repetition. And here, avrutti. Avrutti means they will come back. Both kalam, aham vakshyami, and yoginaha. So here the meaning of yogi, Shankaracharya ji will explain, yogini means karma yogi. And karma yogi is one who are doing karma also and one who are doing upasana also. So I have kept one, one minute. This is a Mundaka Upanishad. So this is, yeah, I would like to share this mantra. In this mantra, sixth one, it is, says, Ehi, Ehi. Ehi, Ehi means please come, please come. Ahutayaha. Ahutaya means oblation. And which type of Ahutaya? Suvarchasa means bright. So this Karmatha or even Upasaka, both have done all type of rituals for whole life and they are giving all offering inside the fire. So this ahuti means all oblations. Which is bright one. They say this yajmana means prayati. One who goes, one who is left, one on body, depart from the body, from this Jivatma, they say, Ehi, Ehi, please come. And what they will do, this all Ahutayaha, Suryasya Rashmi Bihi Yajamanam Vahanti. This all Ahuti, this offering, with the help of the rays of sun, they will take Yajmanam Vahanti. They will take this host, one are doing all. And Priyam vacham abhivadanti. They will speak a good 
in good language priyam and archayantyah again this archayantyah means this all ob uh, oblations they will speak abhivadanti keep on speaking priyam vach sweet language and they will say eshah vah means your punya sukrutah brahmaloka they will say this is your brahmaloka so they will carry them up to the brahmaloka in having reached to brahmaloka they will say vah means your punya sukrutah eshah loka you please go so the meaning is they always oblation take to the upasa so this is the proof is given here is okay this much so same kalam vakshami so now shankara chari ji now explain each and every word yatra kale the meaning of yatra marge by which route prayata is vyavahitena sambandha because yatra kale is here and there are many words and prayata is here so vyavahita means they are distinct but still they are connected even in this verse prayata is different and kala is different by anvaya we have to put yatra kale prayantaha yanti yanti mis gachanti and where gachanti so it says yatra means yasmin kale tu anavrutti the meaning of anavrutti means apunarajan they never will come back and avrutti means tad viparitam means if apunar janma so here it is punarjan in shloka bhagwan has mentioned yoginah so shankaracharya is explain yoginah iti yoginah means karminah cha uchyante we can take yoginah as a karminah simply karma one who are following simply karma we can take like this otherwise we can take as a upasaka also so shankaracharya ji says karminah tu gunatah here the meaning gunatah means according to sattva rajas tama guna karma yogena yogina so we can take yogi as a one who are performing one who are following the life of karma yoga so visheshana bhagwan is use yogina so here the meaning of yogi is not karma tha but the meaning of yogi means one who are doing both karma as well as upasana so visheshana by this using this adjective yogina is equal to upasaka and shankara chaji says yatra kale by which time mean here the time is marga by which route prayataha if nobody can understand shankara ji has written mrutaha yogina one who are died that yogina anavrutim yanti definitely they never will come back anavrutim yati and yatra kale yatra marge yatra kale means by which marga prayata avrutim yanti ab mrutaha ab one who is died again will come back avrutim yanti even tab kalam even that root also vakshyami so bhagwan says i will tell both root one who can come back to this world and one who don't come back to this world so both marga both root i will explain so first is bright path shukla that's why we have changed everything
अग्नि ही ज्योति ही अह शुक्ल षण मासा उत्तरायण दिस इट सीम्स बट हियर दिस नेम ऑफ ऑल देवता देर आर अग्नि देवता आर विल बी अवेलेबल इन द पाथ फॉर दिस प्रयाता वन हु आर डाइड वन हु इज लिफ्ट दिस बॉडी even another devta is called jyoti so this all are bright you know agni is bright jyoti means light is bright aha ha means day day is also bright shukla ha white is also bright shan masa uttarayana so uttarayana means also devta's name is uh, we can say shan masa means northern side the shukla we can take is a, that bright fortnight first fortnight shukla masa this shan masa uttarayanam this six month is also which we say uttarayanam is also the name of devt tatra prayataha gachanti there this prayata prayata means a dead person who is who who will be there bhagwan says brahma brahma vido jana here the meaning of jana means people who who are this people brahma vido jana here the meaning of brahma is not satyam gyana anantam brahma but here the meaning of brahma means sagunam brahma ishwarasya upasaka this people will go by this route agni jyoti raha shukla shan masa uttarayan so through bright path they will travel up to the brahma loka and even between this all people are will receive them ehi ehi please you come please you come and now shankara says here we have to add one thing yatra kale yatra kale prayata gachanti actually he says here we have to add yatra kale kale means marge yatra marge prayata gachanti tam kalam kalam means tam margam is is this agni jyoti raha shukla so this way this all prayata means this upasaka will travel so we need not to frighten you know what will happen after death so all are ready to receive us please come please come because we are at least karma yogi <laughs> so we need no worry somebody will be there to receive us please come please come is given here now shankara says this what is the meaning of agni so he says agni he means kal abhimanini devata so this is our devta abhimanini means presiding and kala means marga this devta is presiding this marga this bright path path so here kala you we have to take is marga abhimani ne means presiding and devta so here devta is feminine that's why kala abhimani ne devta same way jyoti hi is also devta means all devtas messenger is also eva kala abhimani ne they are also presiding devta of this that marga atva shankara chai ji says otherwise we can take agni jyoti together he says agni jyoti shi so he has combined both yatha shrute is given in the shruti eva devate sita 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 ha same way devata devate devata ha so this both devatas are presiding deity of the path in shankara chai ji says निर्देश अगेन एंड अगेन वी हैव शोन वी हैव टू पुट 
yatra kale tam kalam, which I have already shown you. So yatra kale, by which marga and that marga we have to put everywhere. And how we can put? So Shankaracha has given one nyaya. He says, iti amravat. Amra vanavat. So what is the meaning of Amra Vanavat? Actually, Amra Vanavat. It should be Amra Van, but because of Refa, this becomes Rana. Somebody says, you please go in this mango forest, mango grove. But it doesn't mean in mango grove, only mangoes are available. But predominantly mangoes are there. That's why we say it's a forest of mango. But Otherwise, there are other also some the trees are available. Same way, yatra kale, tam kalam, we have to put automatically. Here also, prayata gachanti, verb gachanti, so yatra marge. In that marga, agni jyoti, that marga, this all devtas are available that we have to understand everywhere, he says. Again, he says, other devtas, ne, all are devtas only. We think the ahaha means day, but there is a day of devta. So he says, tatha ahaha, devta of day, ahaha. Shuklaha, he says, shukla paksha devta. So there are 15 days, fortnight. First 14 for 15 days is called shukla paksha devta. Shad masa uttarayana tatra api devataha eva margabhutaha iti so tatra also so we think shad masa uttarayana means first six months are called uttarayana according to our but here he says there api devata only so if a person uh, depart from his body after you know May and June is called Dakshayana. It is not like that, but the Shukla Shukla means one who are doing good upasana, they can go always Uttarayana Mare. This is the meaning Uttarayana is only first six months. That's why he says Tatra of even there also Devataha Eva. There also Devata only Margabhutaha in the form of path is available. Sthitaha. They are remaining. Anyatra nyaya. The meaning of the meaning is we have to, this nyaya means we have to understand this everywhere is the name of Devta. Anywhere Devta is not written. That's why because of this nyaya. This Amravana nyaya. And who will go there? The Shankarachaji says, Tasmin Marge, so here written here, if you understand Hindi, it's okay otherwise, he says, Anyatra Nyaya, where it is given, he says, in Brahma Sutra, is also this Nyaya is given. Anyatra nyaya. Anyatra means where? So in Brahma Sutra. So these all are discussed there also in Brahma Sutra, Devata. Tatra means tasmin marge, prayataha means brutaha, one who are dead, the chanti, they go. And who are this prayata? He says Brahma, Brahma vidaha. The meaning is Brahma upasana paraha, one who has given their life. In Upasana of Sagunam Brahma, these people will go by bright path. Kramena iti vakya shesha. Kramena means Kramamukti. They will attain Kramamukti. One has to understand. It is a vakya shesha. So, what I have said, there are two types of mukti. One is Kramamukti, another is called Sadhya Mukti. Sadhya means immediate. That also, it is explained here.
now will come later but shankaracharya says nahi sadya mukti bhaja one who are capable for sadya mukti one who are eligible for sadya mukti sadya means immediate so here one who are studying vedanta one whose mind is totally chitta shuddhi and one who is this all sadhana chatushtra sampatti such people definitely will get liberated from here only it's called sadhya mukti bhaja and how they will get immediate uh, mukti shankaracharya ji says samyak darshan nishthana because their vision and one who are doing all type of activity with different people with same vision samyak darshan with same vision in which type of vision here nothing but everything is ishwar it's called samyak darshan nishthana such people gati agati va kashchid this na should be keep here na asti for such people gati gati means they will go back up to some loka and agati from some loka again they will come back it is not possible so for krama mukti one who goes to brahma loka even they can come back from brahma loka but one who are interested only in to have a atma gyanam here only such people can never go also and this people even never come also because and why it is like those so he says na tasya pranaha utkramati we know when people dies no the sukshma sharira will travel from one body to another body it's called the traveling from utkramati so from one body this all sukshma body raised up and it travels to another body otherwise it travels to another loka but one who are atmagnani like pujya swami ji like ramana maharshi or ramakrishna paramahans such people tasya pranaha na utkramanti their prana never traveled they just becomes one with all pervasive consciousness iti shrute hai and shankaracharya says brahma samlina prana who are they whose prana is merged with that all pervasive consciousness that's why they brahma maya ha brahma bhuta ha evate for that reason they are almost in the form of brahman only like the the pot inside the space inside the pot if the pot is broken inside space become one with all one who is fake surrounding same way one consciousness is just separated by body mind sense complex it's if that subtle body has gnanam then this gross body will go up the consciousness of this jiva will become one with brahman which is all pervasive it's called brahma bhuta they becomes in the form of form of brahman and brahmamaya they are almost brahman so that's why such people never go and never come it's called parantakala for such people is called parantakala so atma gnani has no traveling while other people has travel that shankaracharya is shared with us in confirmed with us now we says a people who are doing only karma one who are not doing upasana what will happen to them so bhagwan says dhumah ratrihi krishnah shanmasah dakshinayanam tatra chandramasam jyoti hi yogi prapya nivartate so it is very interesting so when this karma tha travel what is which type of devta will be available there 
they're always bright holes. They're here. Dumaha Devata is a smoky Devata. Ratrihi. So it's a night Devata. Krishnaha. The Devata would be black. Dakshinayanam. It is the name of Dakshina. That Dakshinayanam Devata also waiting to receive this Karmatha. And where they will go, they will take to Chandramasam Jyoti. In Upasaka, they will go with Surya Rashmi Bihi. But here, Chandramasam Jyoti. Because the brightness of moon, we cannot compare with the lightness of sun. So Karmatha will get the brightness of moon. Prapya, Yogi Prapya, having got this Loka, Again, Nivartate, they will come back to this word. So this is Avruti. And that one previous was Anavruti. So having go, gone to Brahma Loka, they will never come back. Why this will? Nivartate means they will come back. You can finish this one. Shankaraja is the same. same. Dumaha, Ratri, Tatha, Krishnaha. So Dumaha and Ratri. Shankaracha says, Duma Abhimani ni and Ratri Abhimani ni cha Devata. This all are the name of Devata only. Dumaha Devata, Ratri hi Devata. But Duma Abhimani means they are the presiding deity of that Marga of Duma, smoky path. Ratri, they are presiding deity of that marga of night. Tatha Krishna. So Krishna Paksha Devata, another fortnight. They are Devata of Vad, we say, Vad, fortnight. Again, Shanamasa Dakshinayana. Iti cha abhi Purvavad Devata eva. The Shanamasa. Dakshinayanam also Devata's name only. If this Devata will take where this will go, Tatra Chandramasi Bhavam. They will take to Chandraloka, Chandramasi, and there Chandramasam Jyoti. There the brightness will is like a brightness of moon, Chandramasam Jyoti. This is the phalam of this karmatha. And what they have done for whole life, he says, ishtadikari. The meaning of ishtadikari means there are two types of uh, good karma. No? Ishta karma, purta karma. You might have heard the name. Agni. One who does uh, Agni Hotri Karma comes under Ishta Devata At Atitya and uh, Purta Karma Vapi Kupataragadi. These all details are called Purta Karma. So Shankarachai says Ishta Adi. Ishta means Ishta Karma, Adi means etc. etc. means it comes Purta Karma. The List of Ishta Karma in Purs Vapi Kupa Tadagadi Devata Yanani Cha plus uh, um, what was there? This, if we are prepared for other people, all activity consider as a Purta Karma. And Ishta Karma, which is given in Veda. So Agni, Agni Karyam means uh, what? Agni Karyam plus Atithi. And up before uh, start to annam, we put that water, no? we offer to that food. These are considered as a Ishta karma. Such people will go through this Chandramasam, this Dhuma. And what will happen to? Here the yogi means karmi. They prapya Chandramasam Jyoti Bhuktva, having enjoyed this loka, that kshayat. Like Puja Samiji says, all punya is over. Then Nivartate, they will come back to this earth. 
And in this, Bhagavan will say, this is both Gati. One is called Shukla Gati, another is called Krishna Gati. Here, Gati is again mark, path, root, whatever. So one is bright marga, one is Krishna marga. Jagataha Shashvate Mate. Jagataha means this universe consider as a Shashvata because it's a Nitya Pravahatva. It is eternal. It never goes. It's only manifest and unmanifest. And Shukla Gati Ekaya Yati Anavrutti. By Shukla Gati, person will never come back. Ananya Avartate Punaha. Again, they will come back. But detail of this we will see next time. So any question? So Swami, this I was always uh, confused about these two words. As I really thought mm. until you explained those that Shukla Gadi and Krishna Gadi is not time. It's not column. It's, it's actually not. path yeah. and. Even Uttarayana, Dakshinayana is actually Devatas. You have to see it. You have to see them as uh, yeah. Yeah, associated Devatas. That, that's, that makes sense. Like it, this, yeah. um, It's not like the time of the period of the death that gives you the yeah. benefit. It's yeah. the actual path. Yeah. But even now in next verse, Shankaracharya Ji will explain even this Gati, both are very good. Even we consider this Avruti is not good. But they say, mm. even to go to up to this Loka is not that, that much easy. There are many yeah. people, they never will get even these two Gatis. <laughs> mm. This from one body to one body, they keep on changing. But to go up to this Loka is also need some effort, you know, otherwise they cannot go there. That's why it, it all makes logically consistent sense. Even the karmata, mm -hmm. who's, who's only who's not doing pasna and just doing uh, karma, yeah, still gets the benefit. And uh, yeah. even though they may come back, it is they are prepared for the next step. Yeah, and yeah. Of course, this, yeah, they are uh, dharmic people. We say they are dharmic. Dharmic means they are interesting in dharma only, punya only. And because of punya, they will go up to some loka. Yeah, the beauty of the consistency in the model is, and it's a, it's all a model. At the end yeah. of the day, one is Nitya Mukta, there, there's nothing, yeah. there's nothing to worry about any path. So we, we need not to worry, you know, if we have not, uh, we cannot achieve Atma Gnanam in this life, then there are Devtas are waiting for us. So we need not to worry. Again, we will start from where we have left out. And if you have already gnana, the tasya prana hana utkramanti, then also fine. So, mm -hmm. both ways, we have laddu only. So many clarification yeah. on this. Um, you said samyak darshana nishthanam yeah. gatihi agatihi kvachid asti, it says in that uh, Shankaracharya. Yeah, no, no, that's why look, this is Shankaracharya's style. He never put uh, now before one. This is the Shankaraja's style. So this Nakara, you know. Ah. Ah, nahi sadhyo mukti. Yeah. So, so uh, this is now. This now we have to bring up before asti, nasti. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, one more thing. Uh, you said... So they are parantakala. There's no traveling. Yeah, for so Atma Gyani. They never come. It's called parantakala. When we are receiving sannyas, you know, yeah. they always say, what was the na karmana na prajaya? Natyage na vrutatva mana shahu parena na kan hitangu hayam vibrajate yat yatayo vishanti. Vedanta Vignana Sunishitartha Sanyasa Yoga Yataya Shuddha Sattvaha Te Brahma Loki to Parantakale. That mm. Parantakala is the last uh, of this Gnani. So, so all Sanyasi are considered, in general, Sanyasi mm. are considered as this is the last. They never come back, even your home also. This is why all people are receiving them. Correct, yes. So, para 
Antakale. Antakale, obtaining the param, is it? Param is at the last ultimate time. Ultimate. This is, yeah. Ultimate, ultimate end. end. Yeah, ultimate end. Whatever. Uh, Swamiji, what's the hmm? name of the Nyaya you mentioned? I, I just... Ambra, Ambra Varana Nyaya. <laughs> So in every Ambra, Ambra forest or grove, we say this is a mango grove, or this is a mango forest, but it doesn't mean each and every tree is mango. Same way, when people are going from uh, Shukla Patha or Shukla Marga or Krishna Marga, so every time need not to put, you know, this uh, Tam Kalam, Tatra Kale, that was there, but we have to add, because we know, we have to put in our understanding. Because every time when we say, because these whole four verses are dedicated to Kala only. Mm -hmm. So every time we need not to put Kala because it is also law. Sanskrit law is there. We, we need not to put Kala or Marga, what we are keep on repeating. So we can mm -hmm. immediately, we have to, our understanding, we have to add. Same way this, this Marga, if this will go by this, uh, bright path or this person will go by. So where? So we have to understand they will go by this path. So Marga we have to understand because Marga is not put everywhere. Only one mm -hmm. time Shankara Chai, Bhagwan has said Yatra Kale and Tam Kalam Bhakshyan. So this Kala will come in both words. Amravat means everywhere Amra is there. So here we have to put Amra. Mm -hmm. Like this near. Uh, Swamiji, one more clarification. Mm -hmm. You said uh, karmatha here refers to the person who does yajna, agni hutra, etc. All those yajnas. And nowadays, as you know, nobody is doing. Very few people are doing at all. Mm -hmm. But people do puja, you know, daily puja, that uh, festivals, they do puja and all that. Mm -hmm. Are they equivalent to karmathas? Or is it something? That karmatha, is yeah, karmatha never belong to they never uh, dedicated to Ishvara. Karmatha is only interested in Punya only. Yeah, Swarga Loka. Yeah, Swarga Loka. Because they think in Swarga Loka we can enjoy more. That's yes. why they have dedicated their life for um, Punya only, to enjoy the life. But one word dedicated to Ishvara, they are not interested after death, I would like to enjoy something. Huh. So karmata can never be dedicated to Ishwara. They never prapannam to Ishwara. But oh. upasaka can be prapannam to Ishwara. That is upasaka. So if somebody is doing puja because he wants to do upasana. puja to uh, Ishwara, uh, that is upasana. Upasana. It will come under upasana. There are many people who do puja because uh, they are scared that if they don't do puja, they won't get something good. Yeah. Okay. That is how many people do worship, go to temple, all that. All that. Most, so, of people like their only. Most of people are like there only. There are very Correct. few people who love Ishwara. Yes, so they fall into the category of Karmatha then? No. They won't come in any category. It will come. Out of fear only they are doing. They are not interested even in Svarga Loka. Yeah. They are only out of Vishad. Out of fear only they are doing so okay. they won't get they won't fall into this category. And what about people who, uh, there are people who don't uh, do puja or, uh, you know, Ishwara, they don't go to temple, etc. But they are very interested in social service and helping. Uh, it's called karmatha. karmatha. They, yeah. they, do. So they, they, do, they, they do seva to, to humanity. Yeah, that's why it's called karmata, no? They will earn lots of punya. Unknowingly, they will go. Acha, they are come under the category of karma. Even there are many people in, you know, not in India, there are many people are available who are always, you know, they give the money for yes. benefit of all society. Definitely yes. they, and they are also, compared to India, they are living a life of dharma more. They are given to values. <laughs> In people of India, they are not given to at least. I have seen generally. Yes. Definitely they will. Unknowingly, they will get the punya. Mm. But they will come back. 
Yes. So Punarapi Jana Auruti will keep on. Anta should they take place, no, then they can may attract to Ishwara or something more. What is the meaning of life? Some no basic fundamental question. Mm. They will come across them. So. Anything else? No. I think in the, in the second chapter, Swaminiji, like um, 42nd, 43rd, and 44th verse, in Krishna talks about Yami Maam Pushpitam Vacham, you know, Pravadantya Vipaschitaha, and then, you know, then he says, Bogeshwarya Prasakta and, you know, things like that. Yeah, so I think that. First category, Karmata. Yeah, the Karmata. These all are Karmata. Karmata. Bhogeshwarya prasaktanam taya pratate tasam. Yavasa yatmika bhutti samadavna vidhiyate. Yeah, they don't get that Yavasa yatmika bhutti because what they are seeking is different. <laughs> they are seeking punya. Yeah. In... But still, these people are good. It will come. <laughs> Nowadays, there are many, most of people have never come, come under this category, both category. Mm -hmm. If they don't even do it for earning any punya, if they're doing it because they believe uh, that, you know, being human, you have to serve another human. Like that, that kind of... Uh, then what is that? That is uh, like upasana. It is like upasana. It is uh, like you are doing upasana of all the people in the world, isn't it? If they you never say I am doing upasana. They say yeah. I am helping them. They never they say I am doing upasana. They won't yeah. say it. They don't know what is upasana. But if they are doing it genuinely, out of this feeling that they have to help another being, is that uh, will it not be something more than just doing karma for earning punya or whatever. This is a noble karma. The definition of meditation, upasana, we know. It is a Ishwara Dhyana. Ishwara, Sagvana Ishwara or Nirguna Ishwara. This Sajati, Vijati, that all we know, classical definition. It doesn't come under this category. But they will go definitely up to some good loka. But this Aurutti will keep on continuing. When our upasana come, Ishwar is come. Otherwise, there is a no upasana without Ishwara. So they never consider themselves that I am doing upasana for a good people, for people. They think I am doing some noble work. I am helping them. This is my duty. I should help them. All good thought process, but they never connect with Ishwara. I am doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I should help. So I is there. But they are good people, no doubt. <laughs> Do one of other? Om Purnamada Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamurashati. Purnasya Purnamagaya Purname Vava Sushyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Vida Hari Om Thank you Swaminiji Thank you Swaminiji See you next week Thank you Swaminiji Thank you, Mom.